Seattle, Houston, this view of the end of the remaining amount of tether. This is Mission Control Houston. This uh, view is at the end of the tether, uh, the end of about 10 meters or so, uh, roughly uh, 30 to 33 feet of tether that's uh, believed is still out in Columbia's cargo bay, uh, the tether large. And Jeff, we're tracking it with the radar, and we do read zero tension. What had started out as a TSS ended in disappointment for Columbia's astronauts and flight controllers as the system monitor of the satellite lost all data and the flight crew watched as TSS and its curled tether sped away from the shuttle. Columbia and the satellite now 77 nautical miles apart. In that call reporting that uh, the crew can see the tether and uh, see the satellite, to, that it's beautiful. This view uh, showing uh, satellite. Again, uh, just moving into sunrise. 81 nautical miles now from Columbia. Franklin, uh, we see a long line, a couple of star-like things, and a lot of things swimming in the foreground. Can you describe what you're seeing? Well, the long line is, uh, is a tether, um, and uh, there's a little bit of debris that uh, kind of flies with us, and uh, it's uh, illuminated by the sun at such low angles. So this is just a lot of stray light and it's getting washed out uh, quickly, but uh, Quad is trying to do a, a quick, uh, good job here adjusting the cameras. Copy that. You know, that description by the crew, this is uh, the tether in the satellite, uh, the satellite with 12, approximately 12 miles of tether still attached to it. Columbia and the satellite are now just passing over the west coast of uh, northern Africa. The two spacecraft are now 90 nautical miles apart. The controllers for the satellite uh, did have communications uh, with it uh, during the close pass uh, between Columbia and the satellite. Houston, that's a much better view, uh, a lot more contrast visible. And how wide uh, does that tether appear to be? We, we see, it seems to resemble a, a much wider strand than we'd expect. Can you describe which way the, uh, the satellite is visible on that uh, strand? Satellite uh, now 100 nautical miles. Uh, completely unzoomed, and uh, you see the full extent of the tether. I tried to adjust the focus, but I can't get better than that. Okay, Claude. Thank you. Let's zoom in now. This is Michael Savage with Florida today, and my question is for Mr. McBrayer. According to the manufacturer, there was a spare tether in addition to the one that was hung up on STS-46 and snapped yesterday. What was the reasoning behind flying the same tether twice when you have a spare one that had never been used? We had a qualification tether uh, that uh, we had been using in ground testing, uh, quite a lot of ground testing. Uh, we felt like the, the flight tether uh, was in good shape. We took off the 300 meters that we had used during the first mission and felt that the flight tether had fewer cycles on it than the qualification tether that we had in the test setup. 
Was there ever any consideration or any discussion about flying the spare tether? Uh, not to my knowledge.